Hi everyone, Checkpoint has published its 2021 mobile security report, which contains the latest emerging threats targeting enterprise mobile devices, gives you a comprehensive overview of the major trends in mobile malware, device vulnerabilities, and nation state cyber attacks. And also, you can learn how to protect yourselves against today's and tomorrow's complex mobile threats and how these threats are gonna evolve. We're gonna actually hear more about that today from our special guest. I'm introducing Aviran Hazum. He's got seven years of experience in, an, in a military cyber recon unit. He's got a decade plus in the security business. Now, he joined us as a threat intelligence analyst. He's got a huge toolkit at his disposal and the mindset of an attacker. Aviron leads the mobile threat intelligence team and is now focused on campaign hunting on the mobile front. So Aviron, thanks for joining us today. Now, what has changed in terms of the mobile threat landscape and what is the prevailing and maybe slightly outdated misconception I think that people have about mobile security? Well, mobile security for many years seems to be a nice to have, almost optional. We want to raise awareness that it can no longer stay that way. To keep business data secure, protecting mobiles is now mission critical. Robust uh, mobile security should be a key business imperative. And why? With the shift to remote working due to COVID-19, employees starting using their smartphones to access corporate assets. Things like email, remote meetings, critical infrastructure, management, something that puts their data at risk. We created a report to help organizations understand where the potential vulnerabilities are, how they are being exploited by threat actors, and how to protect themselves against such attacks. Okay, why is it important that the cybersecurity community check this report out as soon as possible? Well, first and foremost, we used our unique insights. We observed data from about 1,800 organizations that use Checkpoint's Harmony Mobile, Checkpoint's Mobile Threat Defense Solution, and a recognized industry leader. In addition, we used the data from Checkpoint's Threat Cloud Intelligence, the largest collaborative network and threat intelligence database, which delivers threat data and attack trends from a global network of threat sensors. We also used Checkpoint research investigations over the last 12 months and some report from organizations to create a full data-driven perspective. Okay, so are you saying that we saw the attack surface increasing and expanding? Yes, it's just a fact. The uh, attack surface is expanding. Uh, threat actors see the shift to working from home as an opportunity. So it's not surprised that per our research, almost every organization experienced at least one mobile and a malware attack in 2020. Some of those organizations experienced an attack that was traditionally related to endpoints things like ransomware, bankers, and rats. This attack vector, the mobile device, is on the rise. More and more known actors enter this threat landscape and they are bringing with them the experience they gained from years and years of operations on the endpoint landscape, while the users, they remained exposed and without proper training or tools to fight back. Okay, we still see many security experts convinced that since they have mobile device management tools deployed that they're protected. You're on the forefront of countering these mobile threats. What's your take on this? Well, first, management is not security. You would not say the same for endpoints. No. I don't think an endpoint solution, as I already have Active Directory set up, is something that no security specialist would ever agree with. So why do the same with mobile devices? Moreover, we observe malicious actors exploiting and abusing the MDM servers to spread malware to the organization's devices utilizing the ease of management and the ability to push applications and change settings remotely. All of that is done over the very same infrastructure that they see as their security solution. I can't stress it enough. Stress it enough. Management is not secure. As we understand it, the report mainly covers threats and attacks seen in 2020. So what's next? What are you observing this year so far? What do you think should be on, on the radar for us? Uh, in this report, we describe some of the trends that we expected to see during 2021. And indeed, we already see many of them coming to life. For instance, we predicted a trend that utilizing droppers as a mechanism to bypass the market's single point detection mechanisms. Not long ago, we have published a paper covering Class 82, which is a new type of mobile dropper found on Google Play distributing the alien bot banker. Aviron, that's great insight. Thanks for your time today. We hope this short session was informative for you and enlightening. There's clearly a lot to be seen on the evolution of the mobile threat landscape. What you see on screen right now is a QR code. So pick up your phone, scan with your camera app, 
download the report, have a read through it. I think it's a really valuable contribution to some of the big challenges we're facing on mobile threat security. In the meantime, have a great day. Thanks for joining, and we will see you next time.